It's just after lunchtime. This is All Angles here on ENCA. Good afternoon. I'm Masafa Ratlaha. It's that time of the day when we give you an update on how far many of the stories we've been following up for you today have advanced. Here's your lunchtime update. Right, we have our reporters on the ground bringing us the latest news on our top stories. Uh, let's get an update now with uh, Nobesu Tuhejana, who is in Cape Town for us, and Puleli Chwiti Jones is in Mangawung in Bloemfontein. Nobesu, let's start with you. Of course, the communities in Cape Town, thousands of them left stranded uh, this week because of torrential rains. I understand that today there are mop up operations taking place. How's that going? All right, let's try go to Buleli Chwiti Jones, who is in Mangawung in the Free State for us, uh, just to give us an update on how Youth Day celebrations are going there. He's looking at uh, uh, young people and how they receive the uh, Deputy President's speech and some of the opportunities that they are finding uh, in Mangawung in particular. Bule, how are, how's the event going there? Well, it's an event whereby we're seeing a lot of young people attending uh, in Mangawung here at Maseho. Um, but a lot of uh, bits quite disappointed with the Deputy President not actually arriving and delivering his address via the Zoom platform. Others um, saying that it was ineffective. Um, but more than that, early on in the morning I got to spend my morning with um, a group of young people who are empowering um, you know, those from their community uh, by ensuring that they learn skills within the IT and technology field as well, which was something that was quite impactful, which speaks to, um, despite there being challenges in the country, there's still a bit of hope. There's still young people who are doing things for themselves, who are trying to enrich themselves with skills which are missing or shorted in some of the job markets in the country. But joining me right now, I'm speaking to um, Bongani Mia from Brighton, uh, Bright Station, uh, Bright, Bright Show, uh, Bright Stone, rather, yeah, um, Academy. Thank you very much for chatting to us, uh, Bongani. Uh, just please tell us, the president not arriving today. Um, what message does it say as well? Because a lot of young people were, were asking for him to be a deputy president, rather. Yeah. 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 I, I think I think a lot of uh, young people would be very disappointed because obviously this was actually widely advertised that he'll actually be here, and uh, uh, young people would have actually looked forward to actually hear what he's going to say. Because I think uh, events like this, um, we should be getting to a point where it's just not just talk show. Uh, we actually talk about tangible things because that's what actually young people are looking for, looking at the unemployment uh, stats that we have uh, around the young people. Mm. Yeah. Of course, when you speak about the issues of science and technology, do you think those are key focuses that should be focused on as well, which speaks to, you know, skills empowerment as well, when having to be uh, playing a catch-up game as a country with other global economies across the world which are leading in those particular fields? In actual fact, uh, me being here today, I'm actually one of uh, the speakers uh, under 4IR. And so, you know what, I think as a country, it is actually time that as young people, we start coming on board in, in learning about things that are around 4IR, that it be coding and robotics, artificial intelligence, uh, IoT, and so forth. You know, the, 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 the cloud computing and so forth. And uh, because, look, where we we are as a country now, we're not actually competitive uh, um, compared to the other uh, uh, stakeholders from the BRICS uh, uh, point of view. So we should be actually doing more. Um, as an institution, Brightstone Academy, we've got one program where we're actually running. Uh, we teach young kids, ages from 6 up until 15, on coding and robotics because we actually understand the jobs of the future requires us that we actually become the big role players when it comes to 4AR. So it's very critical and very imperative that um, we start coming on board. I think the government is trying to do something, but I don't think that government is actually doing much in actually addressing uh, the importance of young people coming into uh, for our um, uh, careers and so forth. So it's about time that we actually start skilling and partner partnership through government, uh, government uh, which we call it triple PP. Uh, private uh, public partnerships we should be actually established so that at least jointly government and actually private sector they are able to actually fund uh, these kind of programs because there are actually guys out there that are doing these
things on their own. They're using their money just to actually get this thing out there because we understand the importance and the necessity of actually just getting on the bag wagon of fire. Ongani Mia, thank you very much. Those are just some of the exhibitors who are here today, Masiko showcasing um, some of their programs as well, which look at empowering young people who are attending um, this event um, this midday. There's just more than about five of them who are actually here um, this afternoon. But of course, uh, we did see some officials from government who are here who are leading the program. Um, and unfortunately, uh, the Deputy President not being available here did cause a bit of an upset amongst the young people who are here. Um, but of course, so they will not be deterred from entering some of these marquees where these programs are currently taking place. Absolutely. Kuleli Chwiti Jones live for us there in Mangaung in the Free State. Let's leave it there for now.